Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris G from RedCatRacing.com. I'm going to show you the binding process to help anyone who needs to know how to bind a remote to a receiver that has been unbound or if one of these two parts has been replaced. Uh, most of our receivers in the RedCat vehicles are going to be the same exact receiver, so this process should work with a good majority of RedCat vehicles. First, make sure your vehicle and controller are powered off. And you're going to insert the bind plug into the channel 3 port of the receiver. So let's put this here. Okay. Turn on the vehicle's power and you'll notice the red flashing light on the receiver. So now there's a bind button in the middle of the remote underneath the plastic window on the back and while holding this bind button in you're going to turn on the remote and you're going to notice a green flashing light on the remote and you're going to notice that the receiver light has become solid red. Power off the vehicle, power off the remote, remove the bind plug, and turn everything on. The vehicle, the green light's going to be solid. Now you're going to have a solid red light on the receiver and everything should work as normal. Any questions, feel free to ask, and if you would like to see any other how-to videos, please let us know what you would like to see, and thanks for Racing Red Cat.